The Scripps Spelling Bee is now over, and we are celebrating how far one Canadian made it in this very tough competition. That is 11-year-old Isaac Brogan. He made it to the semifinals, where his run ultimately came to an end. All right, I'm going to try this out, but I'm probably going to fail. Uh, Tenrec. T-E-N-R-E-C-K. Tenrec? No! Oh, we all felt that. Isaac has been doing spelling bees since the third grade. He is now joining us from the Scripps National Spelling Bee, just outside of Washington, D.C. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning. How are you? I am doing great. And first of all, I want to start this interview by saying congratulations and echoing what one of the officials said to you is, you have shown Canada proud. Thank you so much for that. How are you feeling this morning? Um, I'm feeling great that I could um, just wake up and enjoy this day because today's my like second last day here. So I want to make the most of it. Absolutely make the most of it. Listen, you've been preparing for this for months. Uh, can you take us back to what it felt like when you first found out you were going to the competition? Um, yeah, it felt great because uh, I've never been to D.C. before. It was cool to go on an airplane for the first time and see the world a little more. And I'd get to compete in the script spelling bee because it was a dream three years in the making. Years in the making, I know. And, you know, at just 11, that's fantastic. Uh, can you tell me about your training? Okay, so I use a program called Spell Pundit, and it just divides a bunch of hard words into like lists and sets, and I just go through those and learn them. And I also used a program called Word Club App. Oh, it's more of an app, but uh, yeah, um, I just go through that, and like it's made by the spelling bee, so like they give us some of the words that they're gonna ask, and I just go through them. Word Club app, and that's by the Spelling Bee people. So, Tenrec, had you ever heard of this word before? Had you encountered it before when you were doing your training? No. Um, maybe I did, but I just forgot. Well, but other, uh, otherwise, no. I think I loved your sense of humor when you were like thinking of the word and you said some, uh, you know, I might get this wrong, but listen, if it makes you feel any better, the word that I messed up on a televised Spelling Bee was sheriff. So, you're doing way better with Tenrec. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any advice for kids who are watching you today thinking, I want to do that, I want to go to the spelling bee? Um, yeah, I have some advice. So um, I'm just thankful that God got me here because if it wasn't for God, I would probably be still like at my home because there's this one word, commerce, and I didn't exactly, in the regional bee, and I didn't exactly know how to spell it. I wasn't sure if it was C-O-M-M-E-R-C -E or C-O-M-M-E-R-S-E, but God helped me and I got past that round. And um, I just want to say, because I started it in third grade, um, I'll just say that you got to like try and never give up, because like when you try, at least there's like some chance that you'll win, but if you give up, there's like a 0% chance you'll win. Man, great speller, lots of wisdom. Isaac, you have so much to offer. Listen, that same official that said you did Canada Broad also said you're 11 years old. I expect to see you here again, too. Uh, is that your plan? Are you planning to head to the yeah. spelling bee again? I'm planning to come back, definitely. I'm guessing training starts tomorrow after you've had your, seat, your sightseeing day. Yep. <laughs> Isaac, thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day today in Washington. All right, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.